Dame Nolene Taurua, the super coach, but the journey to get there wasn't easy. Despite being the first ever New Zealander to claim a trans-Tasman crown with the Magic, she wasn't even shortlisted for the Silver Ferns head coach role in 2015. But things quickly changed. She eventually got the job, won the 2019 World Cup, and the rest, they say, is history. I interviewed Nolene in 2016 about a special person in her life. I hold the man of the treaty of white What is the most important thing in the world? And they say it's people, people, people. But there's a lot of bullshit. It is money, money, money. <laughs> We're in Dunedin somewhere and um, we're watching Paul Henry and it was breakfast and you know, we sort of waltz in and waltz out at the same time and someone said, oh, look at that man. And then he was cracking up at something with Paul Henry and everyone was cracking up at that time. And I said, ah, oh, he's dad, like that. I walked out and they went, what, what, what? And it, 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 was, it was actually quite funny and they just thought, who's that, is that your father? <laughs> I, th I think I'm, uh, the only thing Nolene has with, with me is the fact that she's very, very strong uh, in, in thinking, and uh, I, I am that, you know, and, and when, the, when there's a particular issue uh, in my mind, I, I carry it out, I walk with it, and I don't, do, I don't give a hoot what anybody says, you know, and I think what I'm doing, what I'm thinking is right, and that's how Nolene is. Can you believe that he may have been a hindrance on his daughter's career? I, I just wonder sometimes, am I spoiling it for Nolene, you know, and I think like that, whether, whether I'm, I'm in the way of um, and Nolene, advancing Nolene, whatever that may be, because I am of my attitude towards uh, 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 policies and government issues and things like that. Very victory for some question. I always didn't want the Prime Minister to come to Waitangi. I didn't want to ask her, am I in your way or something like that? Of course, I, I see a lot of players getting uh, um, um, uh, honours, you know, New Year's honours, Queen's Birthday honours, and some uh, coaches getting those kind of honours. But Nolene, it does seem, Nolene doesn't seem to get one. And I often wondered whether I am to blame for that, but I don't know whether it is. But I, I do think like that sometimes, yeah. On May 25th, 2018, Kingi Todua died. Three months later, Nolene would be named as the head coach of the Silver Ferns. Um, last time I interviewed you, we were talking about your old man. Um, mm. It's kind of sad that he did, he wasn't really alive when you became yeah, the Silver yeah, Ferns yeah. coach, eh? Like, yeah, what was that like? Look. Yeah, look, it seemed so long ago when we actually did that interview. Yeah. And uh, look, even though he's not alive, I still hear him, if yeah. I'm going to be honest. So yeah. barking away or saying what he wants to say, so... Like always, I think that's what you do. That's why you do things, you know, for the whānau or um, for the people, basically. In my eyes, when I've always seen him, um, you know, in the mud eye and in Orator, yeah. and how he was good. it's yeah. and awesome, eh? And how you could uh, add humour, but add messages, add eloquency to the kōrero how you can respect everybody who's there and also be prepared to get up and have a fight all at the same time, you yeah. know? And so, I mean, I've grown up in that and even though I don't do it on a marae setting, I do it in my setting, which yeah. is around the sports, yeah. around um, board tables um, and not being afraid. So you've reached kind of the heights of being a coach, you know, you've won a World Cup, um, and you've felt the lows in terms of when you weren't yeah, even yeah. shortlisted it to be a Silver Ferns yeah. coach. How do you use those up and down experiences to, to um, help your players? Yeah, look, um, I think, you know, we're, we're very lucky, I would like to think, in, yeah. in our realm is that there's not very many Silver Ferns or people who get the opportunity, one, to represent your country and then to go to a World Cup. Yeah. So, you know, it's something that you don't take for granted yeah. and really acknowledging those ones who are in and around you and your purpose for why you're here, yeah. you know. It's, it's sort of, for me, I know you've got to win the cup, but it's yeah. what you do and contribute to everybody else. I yeah. feel we've got to be mindful of that. Um, it's very humbling um, in another round, but also... Um, I think as well, I always say, you know, you've got to stamp, you know, yeah. you got to stamp yourself and, yeah. and really um, put yourself out there and don't be afraid of that. Yeah. You're once again working the hybrid of a lot of, whether it's emotions or different uh, vibe or different um, perspectives yeah. all at the same time. Um, but back yourself, really. Mm. I think that's the coolest thing, being yeah. in that World Cup.
and obviously dominance is a big part of this. Or like in terms of your mantra for this World yeah, Cup. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, dominance is not like we go out there and be a peacock. Yeah. You know, it's, the, it's not like that or, or we're ego or, you know, we strut around that, you know, I'm going to say, you know, something don't stink because yeah. that's really not it. Yeah. It's really about backing ourselves, backing yourself yeah. as an individual that you know I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And if I can't do that, I know my mate can. Yeah. You know, so I set her up, but also backing ourselves in regards to our strategy, yeah. about who we are as a team, yeah. um, about who we re represent, mm. and knowing, once again, that that's the landscape that we go into, that the opposition are there to nullify us. Yeah. Well, don't let them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's sort of, it's, it's we're, we're ready physically, but it's our mental that we've got to prepare ourselves to go in yeah. and be really strong on that. We're a sports crazy kind of country. Like, there's only one result they want with the All Blacks, the Black Caps, yeah, yeah, and the Silver yeah. Ferns. Yeah. Do you ever feel a little bit of pressure in there, or do you love playing with pressure? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I wake up a wee bit when we've got a bit of pressure on. Yeah. I, I feel that's just part of it. Yeah. Um, you know, you talked about the the highs and the lows, yeah. and you know, people talk about social media and you can be an influencer and all these sort of things. And sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah. But when you put yourself out there as well, you, there's the the yin and the yang. You know the the different things that happen as well, and you've got to be prepared to take that on. Yeah. I think that's the um, inner motivation that we've got to be able to capture, yeah. you know, that pressure and not let it take us to the opposite realm of being negative or being insular, yeah. is to ride it and get your shoulders up and, yeah. and know that you're good, yeah. you know? so. That's the intention. That's what we try to work towards. It doesn't come to us naturally, if I'm if I'm going to be honest. But um, I'd like to for us to work in that space. Yeah. What do you reckon your uh, dad would have thought of you uh, becoming Dame Nolene? I know. You know, it took me a wee while to get uh, actually for it to sit comfortably and accept it. Um, it is special, though. It I, is I think special. he would have liked it. Too. I think he would yeah. have liked it. Eh? Yeah. Um, you know, he kept on going about him and then, you know, that's the last thing that you would, you know, we always been one of those families when you read the newspaper and you go, oh, what has he done? What has she done? Yeah. You know, oh, <laughs> chop that tree down or something like that. So all in all, I always think like every mum and dad, you know, that they be proud yeah. and um, that they know that it's not just about me, it's yeah. about them, it's about the whanau. Yeah. You know, and there's, um, I'm still in working in like in sports, so yeah. it's amazing sometimes when they, you know, it's sort of they might have the day. I mean, you can get into places, yeah. you can do things, you can say things yeah. more than maybe if it wasn't if I didn't have that. It's a crazy thing, but it's just how it is. So, you know, if I can do some good with it, yeah. put myself forward, um, once again, not be so timid yeah. in my eyes or fakama and, you know, really walk the talk, um, you know, you can get 10 feet tall as well as an individual. Yeah.